I want to talk about England. Um, yeah. We've got this, this that came in from Cranber Man, and he said, I love this England team, youth and passion with no care for club rivalries like found in the golden generation. What more do you want? And we had this, it was actually a year ago, we had that conversation about the golden generation with yourself and Frank and Stephen. I'm just interested to know, you know, particularly from your perspective, Joe, what it would be like for you now coming through the system. Because back, back when yeah. you first emerged, you know, possession wasn't something yeah. that we craved in football. You didn't get players between the lines. It was very different. No, no we, we had a good chat about this earlier. And I watched that show, what Rio and Frank and Stevie were talking about. I thought it was brilliant. But the difference is now, like, the, the way that I play the position I played is, is specific roles for, for, for my qualities, like receiving the ball, turning, driving through midfield and things like that. When I started, I, was, I sort of had to find myself in, in systems. Like At West Ham, we played 4-4-2 in the first team a lot. Uh, and, and I played in all of the positions in midfield at different times, left, right. and It was good for my education because I got to learn things. But I think the way that the football is now would suit me down to the ground. Like, you know, the way that it's built out from the back. You, and it, I think Rio as well would have been even better coming through now. You look at John Stones and he's encouraged to break out of the ball and get into the midfield. And Rio, I've always felt... He, that was one of his strengths, particularly for England. He could have done that even more, and then that, the, the, you know, cast, that would have cascaded into like myself getting into the ball in better positions in, in, in the number in the number ten position or just off the left. Stevie releasing skulls, all, all these things would have would have happened, you know, more. But we was a bit, we was a bit too rigid at times and not not enough fluidity in our tactics. It was only three years ago that you you made your England debut, wasn't it? What? What was that experience like? How fluid was that setup? It was under Roy, wasn't it? Was it quite rigid back then? Um, no, obviously, obviously Roy is very tactically. He, he sets his team up to, to be very well organised out of possession, and um, the main emphasis was was on out of possession. Whereas I look at the transition this England team have made. It's it's more about them feeling free on the football mm. pitch, being on the front foot. I, I think of that that first half in Spain a couple of weeks ago. They was absolutely outstanding. They they took the game to them in their backyard and. They were freeing her up at half time because they played on the front foot and I think it's just it's just realising that, that this England team are a team. They they look like it. I mean the fans obviously they can relate to them and um it's exciting because the the job Gareth's done in, in, in bringing the youth the youth into it and preparing for the future, it's it's really exciting to be an England fan. I think what he's done, we can talk about the tactics and whatnot and the, the quality of players that he has at his disposal now and the youth he's bringing in, that's, that's all fine and well. But what he's brought, that Narva manager has done, probably since Terry Venables, he's brought a club environment to the national team. The players want to be there, they can't wait to get there, they all know each other. And what he's done, he's connected the first team yeah. to the 21s, <coughs> to the youth teams, and they can all see a pathway now through. If you perform when you play at your club, you will get an opportunity. He's seen them all, he's been a 21 manager, he's been obviously looking at the 18s at that time, and the 16s, etc., to see what's coming through the pipeline. And he's got his hand over everything and everyone. And now he's got an identity of the way he wants to play, and the youth teams will play in a very similar pattern of play. So the transition from a young 16-year-old England player to the first team, if you make the right steps at your club, are much more seamless now than they ever have been. Yeah. It get, yeah, again, it reminds me of a story when I, when I we went to uh, train with the England squad and I uh, got told to go to Bisham Abbey and I just, my mum and dad just dropped me off and I had my boots in my hand like, and I was like, well, what's, what do I do now, you know? And Scolzi and Phil Neville was like, you know, come in, do this, do that. Yeah. Like, but now it is, a, it is a proper operation. You know, St George's Park's brilliant <clears throat> and he, he, Gareth's, Gareth's done brilliant. Like Rio said, bring in the, uh, the first team and the young kids. They mix, they mingle at St George's Park. Mm. So when you make that step from one age group to the next, there's a clear path. And it's been brilliant. And a lot of respect for Gareth and what he's done, but also there's people behind the scenes at the FA mm. over the last 10 years have done a great job. And, and it's, the future's bright. You heard what the guys had to say about that golden generation. What, what stands out to you now when you reflect on your time in those England teams? Why it just didn't quite happen? I think it, what, a lot of what they were saying was, was, was bang on, was right. I think we was too structured, um, we needed we needed freeing up, we needed football. And the club rivalry, see the club rivalry thing, I disagree with a little bit. From my perspective, I could see like the Chelsea, the Man United, things like that. I always sort of found, I don't know, I always found myself in the middle of that because I know Rio since I was a kid, Michael was my roommate at Man United, you know, so I was like flitting between the different groups. I don't know, I, just, I, I can understand why they said it was, was a factor, but I just felt I personally was unaffected by that because I, I don't know if it was my, you know, my characters because I was, I was close to Michael and Rio and 
and all that. But you know, I, I, I think the main thing was on the pitch, we come up short. Uh, we come up short tactically. Yeah. I, I think that's what it was. I wouldn't, wanna, this, I, w- I wouldn't want to, you know, you know, the managers we played for, you know, great. But you know, I think that was the main point.